Now in this question, we're asked to find this shaded area, the area bounded by the curve, y equals x bracket x minus 1, x minus 5. The area bounded by the curve then, and the x-axis between x equals 0 and x equals 2. And you can see that the curve crosses the x-axis at x equals 1. So how are we going to do this? Well, essentially, we should know that the area is always equal to the integral of y with respect to x. And we have x limits in here, which are generally going to be a and b, say. Now, because this curve crosses the x-axis at x equals 1, we need to split this into two parts. We need to consider this area as an integral and this area as an integral. But what I'm going to do first of all is just work out what the integral of y with respect to x is. So we won't use any limits, so we we'll just put that the integral of y with respect to x is going to equal the integral of what we've got up here, x bracket x minus 1 times x minus 5 integrated with respect to x. And what I need to do is just expand this out. So we'll keep the x there and expand the brackets. And if we expand these brackets, we're going to get x squared and then minus 5x and minus another x. So that's minus 6x. And minus 1 times minus 5 is going to be plus 5. And put dx on the end. Now we'll multiply through by the x and we get x cubed minus 6x squared plus 5x. Several terms there, so we'll put that in brackets and integrate it with respect to x. OK, so what do we get if we do integrate this? Well, in the usual way, we just add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So that's x to the power 4 over 4. For this one, we've got minus 6x cubed over 3. And for 5x, I have 1 to the power, so that's 5x squared, divided by the new power, 2. And we'd have plus a constant of integration, c. If we clean this up, what we have is x to the power 4 over 4. And we've got 6 divided by 3, so that's going to be 2. So we've got minus 2x cubed plus 5x squared over 2, plus the constant of integration. Now, to get the actual area, then I've got to introduce limits. So, what we've got is that the area, let's just write it here, will equal, we'll put therefore area equals. Now, I would have to integrate y with respect to x between 0 and 1 to get this green area. So, if I was to do that, I'm going to have this result here. So we'll just put that in as x to the power 4 over 4 minus 2x cubed plus 5x squared over 2. But I don't need the constant of integration because it would just have limits between x equals 0 and 1. So put 0 and 1 there. Now this is the place where you've got to be very careful now. Because to get this area, I would need to integrate between x equals 1 and 2. So I would have x to the 4 over 4 minus 2x cubed plus 5x squared over 2. And that would be between 1 and 2. x equals 1 to x equals 2. But I said we had to be careful because when you've got an area underneath the x-axis, this value will come out negative. So anticipating that that's going to be negative, I'll, I know that I need to add these two areas together to give the total area, so I need to put a minus here. So I've got minus minus a quantity here, which is going to effectively be adding this area on. So I hope you've been able to follow that. Okay, so. All I need to do now is just put my limits through. So if we do that, we put x equals 1 through here, and that's going to give me 1 quarter. 
and then minus 2 here and then plus 5 over 2 putting 0 through is just going to give me nothing so we'll just leave that alone then we've got minus and I need to put 2 through here and if I do that I've got 16 over 4 for the first term and then for the second term I've got minus 16 and then the third term here put the 2 in and I get plus 10 and then I've got minus and I put the 1 through here and it's going to give the same answers we got here when we put the 1 through so that's going to be a quarter minus 2 plus 5 over 2 and then if you work all of this out okay what you should get is that it comes to three and a half three and a half and because it's an area I'm just going to put square units alright so hopefully you've been able to follow my reasoning on this and uh, that brings us now to the end of this question